this video I will demonstrate the vector drawing features of Fat Paint. And you see here, all these tools here, they're all vector tools. And you know, I'll start by picking the one that I think is most fun to work with, and this is the replicated vector drawing tool. So I just press it, and new drawing will be created. And I can just press with the mouse here on the canvas and I can make my paint. This is what it does. It takes the, the things you draw and it duplicates around a center position. You see here the content panel is open and on the draw, as when you are here on the draw tab, you can make your drawings. And you see here you can either continue drawing before this point or after this point. So I can just press the mouse here and I can continue make my drawing. And here we have all kinds of different options for making a new path and stuff. You have some fill options here. You can give this a nice fill. You can drag around the fill positions here as you wish. And you can remove the fill completely. Okay. And on transform, you can move the points around. So we can just take the points and you can move them around. And you can also here see this duplication happens because I have this on. If I remove it, you'll see just the vector drawing that I made. So by switching on here in a coordinate system, I have here options for how I want to duplicate things. So I can just remove all these options and I'll go back to my single single drawing and I can add here how many duplications that I want. Up to 50 duplications. And when I change here See, when I change my, my points, it will also change the shape. And I can see here, I can also add this, reflect horizontally, reflect vertically, or both. And on top of that, add some duplications. You see here, it just show here, it just show the lines, and it's because under fill, we have this compound set. This is because when compound is set, overlapping graphics will erase each other. If I remove one of the, one of these, it will come back. So we can really make some really cool things with this. And there's many different options for how you can do this. Many different options here. You can also do this in 3D if you want to. You can give it some angle. And to really see the 3D effect, I'm going to rotate around the X. So you see here that it is actually, if I remove some of the duplications here, you can better see that it is actually rotating in three dimensions, you see? And around it, Y, see, you can really see that it's it's 3D. And you can always move here again. You can move your points again. This is a really really cool feature. And I can go back here to fill, and I can remove the compound thing. You can see how it is. So this is really fun to work with this tool. Okay, let me just erase here the path and let me just draw again. And this time I'm going to draw using um, the ellipse. Let's see. See how it is in 3D. Go back to transform and I can change here my angle. 
Uh, let's just go back to 2D because 2D, it's easy to see things. You see here, when I move around my circles, it changes as well. And I can move here, my origin position, this is the position from where the duplications are made. Put back the angle here. This. Okay, let's go back to the draw. We can change here the circle that we draw before. We can change it there. We can also add here some effects. So we can go here. For example, we can create a new shadow effect. See how. Our image now is inside the shadow. We can keep adding more drawings here. And it will remove the effect because it is slow now, so to optimize it will do it. So you can move it around. You can move it around by just going to transform and move it and you can also here when you are drawing you can just press control if you press control you'll be able to move move points as well okay let's see how this will look on a t-shirt so go here I select here my drawing and I say view products Here we have our t-shirt. You can buy this for $12.95. Okay, so let's go back. So this is one image. So let's now work on another image. So go here. I'm gonna go here to objects and I'm gonna say here. Oh actually I'm gonna go here to that tool. That's you can use that tool as well to to draw and I'm going to make here that I only want to draw on this area and now I can pick my tool here for example curves and I can now paint make some things with curves and you see here you can make nice curvy And you can see here, this one here, you have to set closed path. Then you will be able to change it as well. And as before, you can go to the transform and you can add here some transformations to duplicate it around and stuff. So let's just now erase this one, erase path. Let's now use a different thing to draw. Let's use here the triangle. This will be cool. Okay. When you press control, I can move the image around. Okay, I can pick here a different fill color. And I can go here. If, if I don't want to have any any stroke, I can use the same stroke as the fill. And I can go to effects and I can pick the shadow from before. So I also have a shadow on that one. And then you have it here. One new shape. And I can of course do all the usual stuff that you can do, transformations and stuff on it. So what I do here is I'll have one image for the front and one image for the back. So go here for the back on a page pick the other image. Let's see how to look. You see here, we have now the image on the back of before.